All right, in this video tutorial, I'd like to talk about one specific part of the cardiovascular system, and that is the pump or the heart. Uh, I like to think of it as a pump, a set of pipes, or the arteries, veins, capillaries, and then the liquid that flows through the pipes. All right, first of all, uh, in the heart, let's talk a little bit about anatomy. There are four chambers. There's the right atrium, there's the right ventricle, then the blood leaves the heart and it goes to the lungs and comes back to the left atrium and to the left ventricle and then it leaves the heart once again. Uh, in between the chambers are valves and the valves help to allow the heart to create pressure so that the blood doesn't flow backwards and the valves are connected to both openings of each ventricle. Uh, I remember vent V for ventricle and V for valve. Uh, there's another valve right there, and then there's one right under there. Uh, the valves go, the tricuspid goes into the right ventricle, and then the pulmonary valve leaves it, and that goes into the pulmonary artery. And then the mitral valve, uh, sometimes called the bicuspid, uh, goes into the left ventricle, and then the aortic valve goes into the aorta. Uh, another way to think of this is you have two chambers like this, uh, a chamber right up here, a chamber right up there. Uh, this, by the way, if you've ever seen uh, Hemo the Magnificent, the 1957 Frank Capra movie, this will look very similar to the conceptual model they draw in that movie. Then there's a pipe going over to here, and in between there is a set of lungs. Uh, the blood then goes into the left atrium, it goes through a valve into the left ventricle, and then it leaves on another pipe that goes underneath, all the way back to the right atrium, through there, right ventricle, and then back up to the lungs. And then the only other thing that you'd have over here is you'd have a little cell. Uh, and then if you want to get technical, uh, this would be an artery right over here. That artery eventually would turn into a bunch of little capillaries. The capillaries then turn into a vein, and so on. And if you take a look over here, blood is flowing away from the heart right here. So this pipe is the pulmonary artery. And then the pipe coming back, since it's going back to the heart, that's technically a vein. And the pulmonary vein, you can't quite see it, but one place it goes in is right there. And a trick question science teachers love to ask is, what's the only vein that carries oxygenated blood? And that is right here. That's a vein because it's going back to the heart, but since it's coming right from the lungs, it has O2 in it. Uh, let's take a look at the function of all of these. Here we go. So now if we're taking a look at the function we've got this chamber right here, which is the right atrium, and blood flows from the body. This, this is coming from uh, the upper part of the body and this is coming from the lower part of the body. And it goes into the right atrium. Then it goes through the valve, that's the tricuspid valve. It goes into the right ventricle, right there. The ventricle contracts and then it goes through the pulmonary valve and it goes to one lung on one side and then it goes underneath here and to a lung on the other side. In the lungs, the arteries turn into capillaries and then the capillaries uh, exchange oxygen and CO2. Oxygen comes in from the outside air, CO2 in the blood leaves. And then let's just, you know, draw a lung over here. So the blood goes in and then it comes back and you can only see the pulmonary vein on this side where it comes in, but you can also see that arrow coming from over here, and there would be a lung over here as well. So the blood would go in, gas gets exchanged, and then it goes back behind here, and it goes into the left atrium right there. Uh, it then goes through the mitral or bicuspid valve. It goes into the left ventricle, this chamber right here. It leaves through this artery, and that artery is the aorta. The aorta is the largest artery in the body, 
and it curves around and it goes behind the heart and it ends up flowing this way and branching off into many other arteries. All right, so we've just talked a little bit about the pump, all the different parts of it, and how it connects to the different pipes around the body, and how it pushes blood through. Uh, one, I guess one thing I just want to reiterate, when the heart beats, the uh, atria contract first, and they push blood into the ventricles. Once the blood goes through this valve, if a ventricle contracts, it can't go back through that valve. It can only go through this valve. Uh, because they're one way, it works. So the ventricles contract at the same time. Both atria contract, they push blood into the ventricles, and then the ventricles contract, and they push blood out of the heart. From the right side, it leaves the heart and goes to a lung, and then the blood comes back from a lung into the left side, and when the left ventricle contracts, that goes out through the aorta, and it goes to the cells in the upper part of the body, and then it flows down behind the heart, and it goes to cells in the lower part of the body.